we're going to a brand new s segment that we are calling Freedom of Speech Uncensored with our good friend Sam Silverman. No relation to Sarah Silverman. No. But twice as hot. Twice as hot is right. Wow. Go to the segment. Different. <laughs> Hello and welcome, this is Freedom of Speech. And today we're gonna go out and interview innocent bystanders and pedestrians on the street. I'm Sam, this is Kashmira, and she has something to tell the viewers. <laughs> vote, you have to vote, it's hot. <laughs> I'm Sam from downtowntv.com. This Hi. is Christina. How old are you, Christina? 18. 18, are you registered to vote? Yes. Excellent. Sam? I'm Jordan. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. How old are you? I'm 17 and I'm not registered to vote. I will though. You I'm will very... vote or you will register? I will definitely register. Okay. Yeah. Sam? Nelson. Nice to meet you. Um, I'm 17 but I'm going to make my dad just vote for what I want. Okay. What publications do you read to like get you up to date on like what's happening? Um, I read the New York Times. I read the Daily News. <laughs> yeah, that's great. At least you're reading something. It's, I'm reading something. It's not that I don't like. It's just everything that's going on in the, in the world right now. I don't, it's really depressing. Everything you fucking read the fucking newspaper, you just be getting depressed. Yeah. It's stupid, and there's just really. If I ever really need to hear about what's going on with the election, I turn on the TV, which is what every American yeah, does, because America, CNN. we're all fat, lazy people. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you say that your friends, like in your group of friends, like are, are as like up to date and like in touch as you are, or some people? I mean, it's a handful, really, and that's the sad part. It's like mo there's not a whole lot of. I don't think people are age good shit. You no, know, no. But yeah. to be completely honest, I think Ob Obama has Obama's now a. He's not a. Demo, I mean, a political he's figure. Not, he's not only a he's political now, figure. He's now. He's, he's now. He's now a piece star. of pop culture. He's a, a piece of pop culture. You know, it's like. I think everything today is like about being yeah. pop. Because no, that's, that's the way the United States of America goes. That's why the Jonas Brothers are fucking selling out. Oh. They are the, they're, they're equating the Jonas Brothers. When you watch them on the VMAs, the Jonas Brothers were the fucking Beatles. Yeah. What, the, what the fuck is going on here? In terms of the bill, do you think that like the government really has an obligation to like step in and like put some money into our economy or like? So you think that they should have passed the bill? It's that, you know, we've learned so much from history. You know, there's a lot of history, you know, the cliche is that history is doomed to repeat itself. It's true. And there's a lot of things, a lot of parallels, like the Obamas to the Kennedys, the President Bush to Hoover. There's a lot of, like I said, parallels. Yeah. And exactly, we're just trying, President Bush does not want to be known as the person to make America go through the second Great Depression without doing shit, okay? Because obviously Hoover didn't do shit. Yeah. Hoover like, is probably the worst president of all time. You know, but she's, you're on your way, man. Just a little more. Just, just keep fucking up a little more. <laughs> so, I mean, I obviously have an opinion about, like, who would be best suited for office. And, you know, I just don't want to approach people being, like, super partisan. But I think that the point of, like, this segment is really to just get educated and, like, motivate people to do a little bit more reading and maybe watch the debates a little bit more and just get more information on the candidates so you can make like a well-informed decision like when it comes down to the vote and also you should really just get out there and you know cast your vote and cast your opinion because it's going to be who's running the country for the next four years and clearly some changes really need to be made so all right let's keep going one and two three vote for change thanks very much thank you, much. Thank you. Much. Thank you. Thank you. Just want to say that that was our newest member of Downtown TV family, Samantha Silverman, and she's really great.